Imagine a system that takes 100 pounds of trash and turns it into 5 pounds of harmless ash and creates more energy than it uses. Well, ONR's science advisor, Don Murakami, at Camp Smith Marine Base in Hawaii, has been testing a system that does just that. It's called the Micro Auto Gasification System, or MAGS. The MAGS reduces solid waste by as much as 95%. It's non-toxic, something that you can use for mulching, uh, plant vegetables or fruits. The bottom line is you're reducing that volume of trash down. Because the waste is not incinerated, it dramatically reduces the carbon dioxide produced by the processing. Additionally, gases created by the process can be used to help keep the system running, making it very environmentally friendly and fuel efficient. An integral part of the MAG's testing process is constantly checking wastewater to be sure it complies with EPA standards. We're doing air testing of the emissions com coming out of the smokestack uh, because we want to make sure it's safe for the environment and safe for our marines. We're taking technology that was originally uh, designed for shipboard use and applying it for the forward operating base. The Department of the Navy will, by 2020, produce at least half our shore-based energy requirements on our installations from alternative sources. The MAGS program is just one of many ONR programs that is advancing the Secretary of the Navy's energy goals. The Secretary is very, very driven and very uh, forward-thinking in terms of moving the Department of the Navy towards uh, alternative energy sources. In order to gather input on the feasibility of using MAGS for forward operating bases, the Marines evaluated MAGS during a recent test. We had eight Marines on loan and they operated MAGS for two weeks straight. And that was really the main test, is to put it in front of the Marines and see what they thought and get their feedback. Using MAGS, a large bag of garbage can be reduced to an ash-like residual filling, less than half a baby food jar. As you start combusting the waste, it produces what we call a syngas, which is a carbon monoxide hydrogen mixture. And that in itself is a combustible gas, and it basically takes that gas and recycles it into the combustion process. Waste disposal in the field is a huge problem. It has the space requirement, it has the health requirements that everybody has. Additionally, we have a security requirement and that anything that we throw away, we have to make sure it can't be used back against us or that you know, nobody gets hurt scavenging through it. The way we work in a forward operating base in places like Iraq or Afghanistan, something like MAGS could be hugely beneficial to their day-to-day -day operations and really in the end, increase their combat capability in the field. This new process could also benefit many outside of the military. A lot of things we do in the military can have huge benefits for things in the commercial world. For example, what we're looking at at forward operating bases could easily be applied to a school, a hospital, an office building, disposing of our waste in a different manner than just sending it to the landfill. Really it is because of ONR that we have this project here and we have made progress in this area. I think the best thing about MAGS is that it's brand new technology but widely applicable. It hits on things like the environment and sustainability, and it's really opened people's eyes into how we could attack this problem differently. Really the heart of the technology for MAGS is gasification. And the new thing with MAGS is that we're able to do it on a much smaller scale than it has occurred in the past. So really it's about miniaturizing that technology and making it small enough that we could even think about deploying it into the field. We want this to work if it falls off a truck, uh, it needs to be carried by a helicopter, it needs to be uh, portable, it needs to be effective, it needs to be simple, uh, it needs to be durable. One MAGS unit, one day, may handle the daily waste stream for 1,000 Marines in an austere expeditionary setting. And so if we have a solution that can reduce the security concerns of trash disposal uh, and additionally help the environmental concerns, uh, that's a good thing for the Marine Corps. Well, the beauty of MAGS is that we're using our trash as a source of fuel. So even though we use electricity to power MAGS, the energy output of MAGS is more than what we put into it. And so there's an opportunity to use that heat that comes out of it to do something productive with. It's very important to include education in this. In fact, I've, I've recently announced programs that we're looking at starting this coming year, uh, Asia Pacific Technology and Education Program, where it's looking at how you can combine the technologies the educational aspects with the universities, but very importantly with the commercial sector and how all those partners can come together to help move us forward into 
uh, alternative energies to meet the Secretary's goals, but also to address the national needs and in fact transport those eventually to the world in itself.